FAA advisory circulars are available to the general aviation public through the government printing office or online at www.faa.gov and refer to non-regulatory material. In many cases, they are the result of a need to fully explain a particular subject, for example, wake turbulence. The advisory circulars are numbered in the same sequence as the Federal Aviation Regulations and are categorized as follows. 60 is for airmen's information, 70 covers airspace, and 90 is for general operating information for air traffic control. An Airworthiness Directive, or AD, may be issued for any aircraft. An AD is issued by the FAA to identify unsafe conditions. There are mandatory directives for compliance with a maintenance issue. These maintenance issues are usually ones that may have been discovered by a particular aircraft after it has been through an original type certification process. ADs can be one-time or recurring. A one-time AD means the owner must inspect a particular component or perform a particular modification to an airframe once during its lifetime. A recurring AD means the maintenance will have to take place repeatedly, usually once every specified period of time. Compliance with an appreciable AD must be entered in the appropriate aircraft maintenance records. The owner or operator is responsible for ensuring ADs are complied with. Pilots may operate an aircraft not in compliance with an AD if the AD specifically allows for this. Okay, circulars and ADs, here's your question. What should an owner or operator know about airworthiness directives or ADs? A, B, or C, there is only one correct answer. Well, I think this is self-evident. What should an owner or operator know about airworthiness directives, ADs? B, they are mandatory. Absolutely nothing else will be accepted. Mandatory.